Charles Caress, that is correct, brother. We're starting to show off of banjos today. It's going to be a good one, y'all. Stand by. For a start for the uh, for the show tonight, huh? A little ACDC mixed with some banjos, man. Uh, Charles chimed right in on that. He, he's uh, up there in Kentucky, man. He knows them banjos sound like. <laughs> I was actually uh, Flock of Seagulls is the name of the band. They're pretty popular on YouTube. Uh, they do. They're from Iceland. Uh, they do a lot of remakes and stuff. I think it's Iceland. I read it, it's not. Uh, they're not from America, I know that for sure, but but uh, definitely like switching it up on y'all every once in a while. That that might get me flagged, but I don't care. That was fun. That was fun. And it's kind of setting the pace for the, uh, the show that we're going to have today. Uh, I know y'all probably saw that we advertised a little earlier. We're going to have uh, Jay Stortz from Stortz Racing on the show with us today. Uh, Jay is by far one of my new favorite drivers i say new because he was a rookie last year but uh there uh i remember the first time i met jay uh steven rogers had uh had taken a pretty violent role uh in um flat at flat nasty i think it was and um jay and i were uh, up there on the hill working to to get the buggy squared away you know and, and get steven steven squared away didn't know him all all i knew is we were working towards one common goal to make sure steven was okay um the the man is an animal he, he works his tail off uh in his regular day job and then uh on the weekends during race weekends you know he's always working his tail off there too so without further ado I want to bring on my guest today mr jay stort say what's up man What's up, everybody? Hey, I really appreciate you doing this today uh, and doing it in in uh, perfect fashion too, with the buggies in the background, man. Hey, tell us real quick, Jay, how did you? Because uh, 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 Paraville has a huge presence in the rock bouncing community now. Um, you know, where did you fall in line? Because I, I know it was like Matt was Matt Schussler was up there, and Shane was always yeah, racing. Matt. Yeah, Matt was first. Uh, actually, I went to a race. The first race I ever went to was uh, Bikini Bottoms. Uh, actually, a guy that works for me, Colby, uh, him and his wife talked us into going down to Bikini Bottoms and watching watching Matt race. You know, uh, I never take off for nothing. You know, it's it's work, work, work. I I love my job. Everybody says you need a hobby. I'm like, that is my that is my hobby because I enjoy it so much. Um, went down and watched Matt race. Um, thought it was awesome. I mean, I'll pretty much drive a racer about anywhere you could possibly try to get it. Uh, never been in anything like this uh, or raced. Um, I was interested in getting one, and they're all like, you're wasting your money. You're not going to, you know, after one race, they're, they're like, you're wasting your money. You're not going to take off to do it. You know, it's the cheap. And Matt always told me the cheapest thing about buying a rock or get, being in rock bouncing is it, buying. You know, it's everything after the fact of buying. Um, so, you know, I didn't go, I think that one may have been the finals that year, so we didn't go to the following year. I went back down to, to Dyersburg, uh, Bikini Bottoms, and, and watched the races again, and uh, left that race, and I had one thing on my mind, and that was going to buy a rock. <laughs> uh, I went and drove one, uh, you know, had an offer on the table for the guy, got real close on money, like $1,000 a part. He turned it down. I was driving back home. We got about an hour away. He called back and said, I'll take it. And I'm like, no, too bad. That was my offer. I'm not turning around and driving back. And a few days later, we're over at uh, Sunwall Daniel Hefferies, and Matt's over there. We're drilling and having a few drinks, and we'll start talking to Matt about some bouncers and, and told him that uh, I was looking at show, getting, thought about looking at Showstopper 2.0. And he said, man, for the money, he said, that's the best bang for your buck. 
what's out there right now. And he's like, if you're going to do it, that's the one to go start. That's something to go start with. So, so that's that's what happened. I drove drove up and met Anthony, and and uh, I mean, I drove the thing for literally three minutes. Pulled it on the trailer and brought it home. <laughs> that's awesome. So, uh, when you say Anthony, he means Anthony Yaunt, who, if y'all were paying attention uh, at the Bikini Bottoms race last weekend, w- pulled off a third place finish in a in a f- uh, former formerly known Ultra Four car s- gone bouncer. I, I don't know. I don't know what he calls it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, Anthony's a, yeah, Anthony's a wheel man for sure. But um, I, I think that uh, going back to what Matt was saying as far as showstopper, I mean, showstopper's proven. It's proven. Um, you know. Great book. Yep. Uh, I love it. It took me a while to get comfortable in it. I mean, I got it. It needed some work. I mean, the shocks were pretty much shot. They were original from whenever Spiegel built it. Um, we've done some stuff to it, done quite a, quite a few things to it now over the course of the season. A lot of that was due to my non-driving abilities. <laughs> and... Uh, Trying to learn the sport and having a heavy right foot at times. You yep. know, I just, the adrenaline rush yeah. is, is amazing. Yeah, let's talk about, it's a block. let's talk about that foot real quick. Real, give us a, give us a quick, uh, drivetrain spec sheet rundown real quick of Showstopper. Uh, show top, Showstopper 6.0, uh, it's got a, a small Whipple supercharger on it. Uh, it's got 80s front and rear, uh, Cyclone transfer case, 400, built 400 turbo transmission. Uh, yep. You know, I just, uh, uh, it, it had uh, F550 knuckles on it um, whenever I got it. Uh, kept blowing through some ball joints, uh, put ball joint eliminators on there, and they worked. Not that they didn't work, but I had one of the uh, one of the C's were egged out a little bit, so I had a, a eliminator kept coming loose. Um, so that wasn't the eliminator's problem. It was due to the sea. And then I had a, another couple pretty bad crashes and uh, did something most people don't do is is run the sea in the knuckle on, uh, on one of the dang 80s with F550 knuckles. So yeah. we changed over to the then and, and went that route. Yep. So uh, going in, what I was alluding to was your heavy right foot. Tell us about like, you first got into rock bouncing last year. You were a rookie last year. You were in the running. You yeah. were right up there with Larry Crow for rookie of the year for sure. Like, do like why why the the heavy right foot? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, the first race was New Year's Day at Moonlight. Uh, had a bounty hill at Moonlight. I think there was twelve, somewhere around twelve drivers entered. Uh, you know, and, and Jake Pike was there. He, that's the first time the new buggy was out. Heck, he was still putting it together when he got there on the trip. Very <laughs> um, official thinking the car that he has now uh, before he changed it over to Rock Bouncer. Um, you know, quite a, I think there were a couple racers. There was two or three racers involved, uh, but there was a class for everybody that let the racers run with the bouncers. And uh, put the names in the hat and drew out, and uh, I drew number one spot to go first. <laughs> Never raced on a hill. You know, I, I drove it here a little bit, took it down the lane between the lakes, uh, and drove it there for a little bit before I pulled the transmission out of it. And I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was uh, I was nervous. Uh, you know, Anthony actually walked the hill with me. You know, he's like, put your tire here, gas it here, you know, do this, do that. And, you know, I, heck, I could drive from the ground great. You know, I could tell anybody what to do, but you have to get in the seat. It's a whole different ball game. Yes, sir. Uh, I pretty much did about what Anthony told me to do, and uh, I didn't let up even when it got in the air. He said, you don't have to let off the gas in this thing. You can land in the gas. And I did, and I went first, and they gave us three minutes to do the course. Uh, some of the drivers wanted to vote to go five minutes on the course. They got. I didn't vote at all because they didn't want nobody mad at me because I didn't know what to do. So we stuck at three minutes. Uh, I finished the course, got down. They told me my time, a minute and five seconds. It was, I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. Uh, and uh, I beat all the bouncers there. And uh, Pierpoint, Justin Pierpoint, beat me in the race. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I was just, I was still just to finish. 
I didn't think the hill was even climbable, to be honest with you, but I hadn't hit nothing like that. So I just strapped in and, and went. Yep. So, yep. And it just progressed. From there, you know? I, not, to say that I don't get nervous before a race is crazy. Oh. If you don't get nervous, there's something wrong. I, I get nervous for y'all. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> yeah. Buckle up, though, and I take off from that start line, all that goes away. That's awesome. It's just like I'm free. Go do it. Do it all well. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so cool, man. Do you have a, a, a history in, in off-roading at all? No, I had a couple of mud trucks back in the day when I was younger. Uh, and started working at a young age, so I didn't have a whole lot of time for that. I played around with my buddies a little bit, but not a whole lot. Yep. Um, that's about it. You know, I, I am mechanically inclined. I'm illiterate. I, I mean, I, I, I've learned so much in a short period of time of doing this. I couldn't fix anything, you know. I feel like I could barely change the battery. I'm just—it's better for me to pay somebody to, do it, to be honest with you than me do it myself yep. back then. I just go to work. But uh, I've learned a lot in the in the short period of time of racing. You know, the simpler things, and I, I get a lot of help. You know, oh. I do get a lot of help from people here. Uh, showstopper, you know. Uh, Ryan Robbins works for me, and Kobe Guile, and then Kobe's son Mitchell. I mean, they were my three main guys. It's always helped. Chad Rashardy has helped. Uh, on Showstopper, and then I've got uh, uh, Mitchell and Colby pretty much do uh, Modern Warfare, and then Adam Coots does Loose Cannon. Yep. So Adam Coots and Robbins do Loose Cannon. Yep. Um, I, as soon as I'm back from a race, it's time for me to go to work. So I, I don't I don't get a whole lot of time. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, let's answer some uh, some questions here real quick, or say hi to some folks here, Miss Miss Mar. Jeremy and Rebecca yes. Garris in the house. Owen Garris in the house. Owen, great job, uh, great job last weekend, man. Uh, driving, driving in the Razor in the uh, side by side class. Miss Giles in the house. Curtis Hazard up there in New Hampshire. Jonathan Shepard. Dylan Statton, what's up? Sean from down there in Reject Fab. We're going to talk about Reject Fab in just a second. Charles Caris. Yeah. Charles Caris from High Octane Films. Nathan Rigsby, Miss Chastity Heckley in the house. I think I know yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, I know her. Jamie Tol- Tolfson. What's up, Jamie? Bob Meadows in the house. Dustin, Dallas Meadows, Austin Godinez up there in Kansas City. Tyler Rice, John Martin. John out here in Arizona with me. Mr. St. Clair, what's up, man? Danny Furness, Joe James. Man, look at all y'all in here. Jesse Letgrate, Anthony Yaunt, speaking of Anthony Yaunt, Anthony Yaunt in the house. He must have uh, just got off from a live feed with uh, Jesse from Racing on the Rocks. Daniel Heckley. Man, it's good to see that name in there. I love you, brother. Ed Bendall. Charles Caress. Showstopper 2 is a legend. Put more people on the podium than any other machine I know of. Fact. Yeah. Jacob. It has. It's one. Yep, she's a winning winning buggy. Jerry Justice, yes, sir. Brandon Phillips, Bebo in the house. Bouncer Life. Hey, Nick and Jay, what's up, Brian? We miss you, man. Merrill Hutchinson. Anthony Yaunt says, Team Missouri, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Bub Meadows, if you could drive anybody's buggy in any other series, whose would it be? In any other series as in what? If you could drive anybody's right, so buggy in in any of the series, in any of the series, whose would it be? <laughs> I would love to get in J5 from Larry Groves because I know what's sitting in front of yeah. me. Four, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Don't We're going to talk about that. We got, we got to talk about that. Uh, Nathan Miller, Jay has worked his tail off his whole life. It's wonderful to see him enjoying something other than work. Amen, Nathan. Amen, Nathan. I, for one, am very thankful for that, for sure. Kelsey Stortz, Pearville Mafia, heck yes. Absolutely. Tim Johnson in the house. Daniel, we love you too, brother. Jaden Stortz, how are you, ma'am? Ellie Nass, hi, Ma. Miss you. Rick. Sean Rusin in the house out here in California. Jamie Marr. All right, man, we got a ton of people in here watching. Hey, so we're kind of talking about uh, you, you, you kind of 
ended right before I went to the comments about um, modern warfare. Uh, what was the reasoning? So, Showstopper is a single seater buggy. Did you yes, were you looking for another single seater when you bought Modern Warfare, or was that just con just a coincidence? Modern Warfare was one of the things that just happened that wasn't really I didn't think was going to happen, wasn't supposed to happen. Kind of one of them things. Uh, I, I talked to Reject Fab, talked to uh, Justin quite a bit uh, about and get, no nothing intended to, to Showstopper because I love it. I'll probably never get rid of it, but. Uh, Wanted something a little bit more modern, a little more power, um, and I'm a Ford man. I mean, I am hardcore Ford. So uh, Nick put the buggy for sale, and uh, you know, I've never been in a buggy, never drove a buggy, and he put the buggy for sale, dropped the price a little bit, and I made an offer on it, and he's like, you know, no way, you know, and I said, hey, no hard feelings, you know, it's all good, whatever, no big deal. Couple weeks went by, talked to Justin a little more, sent some money to an engine builder, found somebody to build me a Ford engine, sent some money to an engine builder, got the engine started, sent Justin a down payment on a chassis. Literally two days later, <laughs> Nick calls me, trying to negotiate, negotiate. I'm like, Nick, I'm sorry, you know, I, my offer's my offer. You know, he's one that change a few things on a buggy or keep a few things and then and then get to my price and I'm like, dude, you're a great guy. I love all you guys. No no harm, no foul. I'm not gonna be mad either way. That, that's my offer and that's it. You know, I just sent money off for an engine. Uh, just gave Justin a down payment on the chassis. Um, that's my offer and that's it. It's like well you sleep on it and I'm like, I'm just telling you that's <laughs> it. I don't want you being mad at me. Well he calls me the next morning, he said, come get it. So now I'm like well, shit, here we go. So uh, I went down, we, we picked it up, we drove down that evening, or the next evening, I guess, went down and got it, uh, met at Danny Smith's and, and picked it up. Uh, I could barely fit in it. You know, it's made for, it was made for Danny. Yeah, yep. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit bigger guy, and it was made for Danny, and we got it, done, some, done a few things to it, had some issues with belts at first and, and, and things like that. Long story short, engine's been redone. Uh, transmission has just went, been, had to put a new transmission case on it, new recase. Uh, transfer case, it just, just had to get redone. Uh, I had some issues with it, had to put some mounts on it. Uh, you know, we bolt check everything as much as we can. Uh, I try to bolt check, my guys bolt check before we leave. I try to bolt check it either when it's on the trailer or when we get off the trailer at the race. Uh, I do my best to, to try to find everything we can. You're not always going to find everything, but uh, this is the first race I actually got to race here this weekend in the King Box. And I'll be honest with you, I was so close to ready to throw in the towel on it because it was just little bitty things. Uh, my son was going to race his first race this year at Moonlight. He was going to get involved a little bit, and uh, you know, throttle cable broke. We just fixed it. Throttle cable broke. He took off the start line, got to the bottom of the hill, went to hit the bounty hill, and throttle cable broke. Um, just a bunch of little headache stuff. But, you know, I, I think we now got it figured out. Put some more mounts on for the transfer case, transmission, keep everything in line. Got the belt situation figured out. Danny helped with that. And Nick, um, uh, I, I felt great in it this weekend. Uh, Could have been faster in a few spots. Doesn't turn as well as I like, but none of them do, unless you have rear steer. You know, uh, I've got to learn to make the corners a little better in it, but I, I feel that I can compete with it. So, with with, with most of the guys. So, would you say would you say that that's going to be your race rig, or is it going to be, you know, what where show stop? Where are they going to? As long as it's together, that's my race reason race rig for the rest of the season. Okay. Okay. We started last year, we raced 26 weekends. Yeah. My first year ever raced 26 yeah. weekends. Never even thought that was possible, never imagined it. I will never be able to make it 26 weekends with one rig right now the way I drive. It's not going to happen. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, you know, yeah. you know, some of the courses we do, some of the hills we take, you know, I, <clears throat> I like the bounty hill. The old days, uh, you know, after watching all these films, the old days after race, you know, they'd have a bounty hill after 
at least 50, 60 percent of the races. And hey, I'm down for that every nice. race. I don't care. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Then I acquired uh, Loose Cannon actually too over the winter. That was kind of a, a trade deal. Um, I really didn't mean it. Really didn't want it. My girls thought they wanted to race a razor. Uh, Ryan Robbins, he's the one that helped me on Showstopper all the time, and he he actually races a, a loose cannon for the SRS season, the series. Yep. And then my girls race, uh, they started racing a little bit of pro rock and out. Nice. So they both got one race under their belt. So nice. Uh, so they're going to race that series, and Ryan's going to race loose cannon for the Southern Rock Racing Series. Yep. Okay. Okay, because I was going to say, I, I, I don't remember you ever being announced racing the side-by-sides, but it, it had really only been a couple of no, races. I yeah. I don't need to get in it. I, I just seem to stay in the big yeah. buggy and, and get comfortable with one of them. You yeah, know? that's where my heart would be, too. <laughs> Here in Paraville, when we had a couple of play days, you know, uh, I took both buggies out there. Yep. Uh, yep. Just because, you know, I wanted to drive them both and in case one of them broke, but... I've got to leave Showstopper at home for say, so I get some seat time and warfare, yep. so I can be competitive uh, during racing season. Yep. Do I want to win? Who doesn't want to win? But I don't. Winning doesn't matter to me if I'm having fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Want. I want to have fun. Amen. Winning is a bonus. Uh, I didn't get in this sport to to make money no. per se, because yeah. it's, it's not possible <laughs> unless you're you're one or two people. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Good time, you know. All my kids go. To, I mean, a few of my kids go to every event. Uh, sometimes my oldest daughter and my son they'll drive down early, leave early in the morning, come to the race. My two younger ones a lot of time come with us. Um, you know, Daniel's family and then they all come. You know, they're pretty much at every race. Yep. So, and my, some of my employees and my my workers they come to they follow the watch also. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> We've got a pretty big yeah. uh, I'm pretty speechless when it comes to that. I, I really, I can't express to the people that are watching right now what Paraville is like at the races. I, I there's just you have to come and see it. You have to come and see it. I, you know, at Bikini Bottoms, you, y'all had a third of the crowd, really. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bikini Bottoms only two hours yeah. from us, so my guess. You know, with all the drivers, um, Friday we probably had 50, 60 people there. Saturday, yeah. there was probably oh. 250 to 100. Yeah, exactly. Yep. From there. Yep. You know, even the seven hour races, we still have 20, 30 people. Yeah. Follow us. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. There is nothing like it in rock bouncing right now. There's, the y'all are, yeah. y'all are, you know. And everybody's, it's oh yeah it, it is the epitome of rock bouncing it's the whole rock bouncing community yep. you know it's everybody's there to help everybody, that's right so. that's right that, that, that's what's awesome about it and you know you know nascar the other races i mean you see stuff get heated and, and all that it, it's not like that yeah. somebody not might not like that somebody does at one time or another but it's you know it's it's fine everybody gets it, it, it works. Yep. Everybody helps each other. If you break your rig, they're there to help you fix it for the second hill. They want you on that hill to yep. beat. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Because bragging rights just aren't the same if your competitor didn't get to race, you know? That's you right. Know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Hey, let's say. Uh, my, goal, my, goal my goal for my first year was, uh, you know, to get on the podium one time. I'd love to be on the podium one time and just finish it. Yep. You know, yeah, shields, and I had quite a few DNFs, a lot of flipovers, a lot of crazy stuff happened. Uh, but I did get on the podium. I brought home some money, you know, and nothing to brag about. But hey, every little bit helps, and it makes it feel absolutely, good. man, absolutely. Hey, let's get some comments here. Uh, Miss Jaden Stortz says, "So proud of my dad." Uh, amen, Jaden. I am so proud to be uh, uh, to have gotten to know Jay. Uh, Miss Ellie says, "So proud of my son." Oh, thank you, mom. Mark Giles, thank you for joining, sir. Let's see, Jerry Arno in the house. What's up, man? Victor, Justin Glover, Bebo says, says uh, Jay is a superman. I agree. Justin Glover, this is way better than watching protesting videos. Good call, man. Uh, 
I don't bring any of that stuff up. This is a safe place for that. Uh, this is this is rock bouncing news. This is CNN for rock bouncing right here, or or Fox News or whatever news you watch. This is a 24-hour rock bouncing channel right here. Miss Samantha Coots in the house. Thank you for watching, ma'am. Curtis, yes, please like and share, guys, if you can. I, I really appreciate all y'all joining us. And uh, the more we get this out, the, the better the show is just going to get. It's, it's awesome. Mr. Adam Coots in the house. We were just talking about you, sir. Uh, Shelby says, Paraville Mafia is the most crowd at every race. A amen, sir. Amen. Pete Rittenauer, Trey Moore. Trey says, Jay's the man. Amen, J uh, Trey. Sean Keller in the house. What's up, man? Justin Hoback in the house. Jesse Letgrade, it is a positive show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bub Meadows, sounds like we need to set up a race. Tennessee versus Paraville. That that would actually be cool, man. There's a lot of big-name drivers in, in Tennessee. That would be cool. That would be cool. We've never – there has never been a state versus state rock bouncer race off. That would be freaking awesome, man. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, Ryan Robbins says, ask him if Larry Krogh is his hero. <laughs> Larry Krogh is the man. He, he is. We've got to keep Larry down, <laughs> uh, Holden Stortz watching with us. Sean Keller, bro, the starting protest eight blocks over from me. Well, stay safe, Sean, man. Don't, uh, don't get involved in that stuff. Lock yourself up. Don't, just don't pay attention to that, man. Protect what's yours, but, uh. Don't let that get to you. Uh, Anthony Yant seconds the Tennessee versus Missouri race. All right. Hey, hey, I want everybody to know that you heard it here first. If there is ever a state versus state rock bouncer race, it was because of this show, Jay Stort's show right here. That's right. That's awesome. Let's set it up. Hey, we got Nick Kortenberg watching now. Nick would definitely help with this. I know he would. Travis Skelton watching with us. Um. Laney Tate, how are you, ma'am? So uh, we we briefly talked about the play dates that y'all had. Uh, I say play dates, uh, you know, like well, I mean, we are just a bunch of kids out there playing in the dirt. But but um, you know, how is that doing for your seat time? You know, how does that is that helping you guys out? Yeah, it basically, just got us out to do. Okay, it got us out to do. Uh, you know, uh, a few of us made some. Well, I, I got the warfare pretty much ready, I thought, so I wanted to try it out. I never really got the race. And I was at, uh, we was at Windrock, um, and I got to hit it. Um, Danny, Danny actually, uh, forgot. Danny was going to drive Justin Holtz buggy, uh, missed it. Yep, yep. And they broke it, and they broke it, and Danny came up to me and said, hey, can I drive warfare? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I never got to eat in racing. And I'm like, yeah, sure, Danny drove it all the time. You know, I mean, they built it for him. And he's like, okay. He said, I got, I got a race now. And I'm like, oh shit, you're going to the yeah. and I even got the race. Yeah. It is what it is. How it works. Um, I just hope that I needed something to drive. Somebody. Yeah. The same of course. Thing. I want to take somebody else's stuff up, but um, you know, it's points. You're there to race for points, and and, and that's the way it is. But so I had very little seat time in there at the race. So uh, got a good friend here in town. He's got a nice place. They made some hills. Matt Schistler went over there with his equipment, made some hills, and uh, Adam Coots helped on it, and them guys, and, and uh, it was it was a good time. It was it was great. Gave us a little seed time, mingling with friends. Um, found a few more weak points on warfare that I need to get fixed up and took care of, and, and uh, she's ready. Yeah, I mean it's ready. So uh, Daniel made some changes to his buggy, and that's the first time he had yep. out um, with an hour. And, uh, found a few weak points on it that needed to happen. Yep. Um, get fixed. Chad Rashery just actually Chad Rashery purchased. Yes. The bug he has right now. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, uh, you know, just uh, and, and Matt had a few issues too that he kind of got figured out after that day. It, it, I mean, everybody had a little bit of thing, a little few little problems. I think everybody was there probably did break one yep. thing. Yep. That we had a few times we were there. Everyone that was there did break. Shane, up. Shane had some transmission issues. Yeah. Shane broke. Jeff Porter broke. Yep. I think uh, I think Boyd broke something. Campbell. I mean, all them guys came up to hit the hills with us, and it was it was just a good. It time, was. Yep. You know? Yeah. We had food, drink, 
had music, hell of a fireworks show in the second yeah. round. <laughs> that fireworks show was better than any sh- fireworks show I've seen at, at in towns, cities, in 4th of yeah. July, man. Shoot. Get out of here. Right. You know how to do it down there in Paraville. <laughs> um, but no, I, I it was a, a spectacle, a spectacle, if you will, because um, never do we get to see any more anyway. Uh, very often do we get to see buggies hitting stuff one after another, after another, after another, just because it wasn't a race scenario. It was, you know, um, you know, there were rollovers and there was recovery. But if y'all wanted to hit the hill 10 times and it would stay together, you could. <laughs> Uh, whereas when when oh, yeah. we see you in racing, you only you only go twice. So that problem that that was the problem there. We, I pretty much you ran both of my buggies until they both broke. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, I mean, we were there. Play that's right. Until they both broke. Hey, um, back to warfare. You're you're talking about a Ford motor now. There is there going to be any more changes to warfare other than that? Well, I, I, the cat's probably out of the bag somewhere. The Ford Motor is not going in warfare. Justin, Reject Fab, Justin and Sean over Reject Fab, they're building me a new chassis uh, for the 2021 season. Uh, so I'll have a new bug. All right. Well, if if so the cat wasn't out of the bag, it is now. <laughs> If, if the cat wasn't out of the bag, it is now. But I'm glad you, you got, I'm glad it got to come from you. <laughs> So I get used to that style of chassis. Okay. Um, I one's going to be different, you know. Um, it's not going to be the same. It'll be different. I think this is probably one of their first chassis, big buggies they put out. Um, but it, it's different than Showstopper. Okay. Uh, I, I love Showstopper. I'm so damn comfortable in that thing. Nice. Um, I, there ain't nothing I want to try to hit with it, you know. I didn't think it would go up that first hill out at uh, – here in Perryville or a play date that first time. I didn't think it had enough mass to get up the hill because it's a heavy buggy, but uh, it, it, it went, you know, I just, I feel like I could hit anything with it. And that's how I want to get, that's how I want to get with warfare. I want to get more comfortable in it. So I'm not afraid to hit anything with it. I mean, cause there's not a hill you put in front of me uh, that I don't want to go yep. up. I, I know rock bounce has changed a little bit from back in the day. A lot of it's now speed, fast horses. I'm not really set up for fast courses or I wasn't in Showstopper. I like the long courses like we had the Bikini Bottoms. That's mm-hmm. great, where it takes uh, a lot of driving and some steep hills and some rocks, or they had concrete, whatever, what have you. Mm-hmm. Um, but at least more room for error by any driver, sure. you know. You, I, some guys, like we drove to Texas, and, and I'm not dissing any place because I love them all. We drove to Texas the first year. We drove almost 12 hours. I raced two hills and I raced for 44 yeah. seconds. You yeah. Know? Finished both hills, but I raced for 44 seconds. And it's like, man, that's 12 hours of yep. But uh, I, I don't care. I loved it. I just like the long courses. And, uh, you know, they're putting some jumps in now. That's something I got to get used to. These two buggies are totally different when it comes to yep. that. Um, showstopper, I'm used to putting that thing in second gear and just hold it, just go. I got to get used to warfare from shifting. That cost me a little bit this weekend, and that's something I got to learn. Um, I think I, I think I had it figured if I finish hit, hill two on my first try at the top there, um, if I finished out, I would have been sitting in that fourth or fifth spot right there with them guys. And you know, I backed up and ended up rolling over. And I, honestly, I went to hit reverse to try to back out of it. I done thought we had enough excitement for the day. I didn't need to end up at bottom. I just shut it off. Yep. You know. Yep. So, yep. But, uh, yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we got Daniel in here, man. And, uh, heck you yeah. know, that was. I'm not going to say too much to everybody. Daniel's home. Yep. Uh, he's relaxing a little bit as much as he can. If you don't know Daniel very well, yeah. it's hard to keep him. <laughs> maybe have to strap him. Yeah. Home. We were fighting to keep him. Uh, we were fighting to keep him. He was just, we pulled him out of the buggy, man. He was. Fighting yeah, us, man. right? Right. We're just glad that's all that was wrong. Nothing internally. Yep. Back and neck. Head, head, so. Yep. Yep. A lot of prayer, man. A lot of prayer. A lot of uh, 
There is no doubt in my mind that uh, the good man upstairs was was watching over him. That's for sure. That's for sure. Colby says, damn, them buggies look clean. Yeah, they look clean now. Do you, do you have uh, do you have some cleanup time after you got back from Bikini Bottoms? It wasn't that bad. Not not too muddy or anything, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Man, everybody's about this uh, state state versus state race. Bebo's all about it. Oh, I'm sure we can definitely Yeah. Jerry Arno says he's down. Nick Cortenberg's all about any racing. Yep, Pete says Warfare's looking good. Chris, what's up, man? Pete Rittenauer says new wow new chassis yeah so what uh, what about reject fab man what we had those guys on the show last week I don't know if you got to uh, listen to it we had a hoot, it was a hoot man we had them they, they we started the show off and they're like okay Nick we're gonna give you like 15 20 minutes two hours later we're we're wrapping up the show so uh, it was a good time it was a good time yeah. Yeah, they're great guys. I mean, they I, they got a lot going on right now. They're great guys. Um, you know, yep. like I said, I, their, their chassis are working. They are. I mean, their buggies are yep. working. That's right. Uh, nothing against anybody else, but their buggies are just working. You see, you know, last year, almost every race, they're one of their buggies were on the yep. podium. That's right. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Um, and, uh, again, you're going to be going for that single seat look. Yeah, yep. single seat center. Time. Yep. Uh, it'd be a little more like John Campbell's, like the Taz okay. buggy, than the Warfare. Yep. It'd be a little bit more like that similar. Not exactly the same one. Yep. Okay. So. With four power, baby. Do you 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 care to you care to give us any uh, uh, the lowdown on the motor or or anything? Big block, small block. You know. Four hundred forty-five cubic inch small okay. block. Nine sixty to nine seventy horsepower, naturally aspirated. It's going to be mean, I believe. Yes, sir. It sounds good. Uh, built, built right here in the state of Missouri by ZS Zach Smith at ZSR Engines. Thanks, Larry Crow, for the hookup there. Yep. But uh, yeah, so we're, I'm ready. I mean, I, the engine's sitting in the other part of my shop up there in the crate. <laughs> I, it just drives me. You no, know, I don't ever go in there hardly. It's where my car sits, and I'll never drive it. Yep. So. Uh, it yeah. <laughs> just burning burning a hole it'll be, right? it'll be going reject here in a couple that's weeks, awesome so. that's awesome Robert Tabor watching with us uh, let's see Nick really want to see Jay this weekend I would and I would love to come I would love to hit Cable Hill but you know it is what it is I, we stayed back a couple days from going to Chicago to uh, a couple different reasons. One reason, you know, make sure Daniel was home and good and everything was there. Yep. And uh, work wise, it's just the way it worked out. So I leave out in the morning for five at five for Chicago. I'll be gone till Sunday or Monday. Okay. So. Well, be safe out there, man. It, you know, with all this craziness going on, I, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. definitely. Bruce Ludwig watching with us. Bebo says, I'll support Tennessee, but I'm going to need about 1,000 more horsepower. Nothing against the awesome Paraville Mafia, though. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah for sure pete says uh, you can't argue with the podiums for reject fab absolutely uh um no doubt about it no doubt about it uh anthony on i'm gonna talk reject into making you a rear engine <laughs> not happening not happen, yeah. <laughs> that's funny no i'm excited man i'm excited i i that's uh, them boys down there doing some good work, and um, yes. you know, ten. They had five buggies. They had five buggies this weekend that were that yeah. were racing. You know, they got they got ten buggies at any given time out there uh, racing in any of the one ser- you know any of the series that we have in the United States right now. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And, and it's not like they're pumping them out and they're trash. They're they're pumping them out and they're winning. You know what I mean? Yeah, they work. They work. Yeah. That's you know they're uh, you know they're putting them out there and they're working. Yep. So when you see them week after week uh, on the podium, 
And yes, they got great drivers. Don't get me wrong. That's not to say that I'm going to get out there in these buggies and put them on the podium. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, race hard, but I'm there to have a good sure. time. Uh, a lot of people ask me. They had a bonus line bikini bottoms on the second hill. And I'm always wanting to be there to, to put on a show. I don't care. But, you know, I, it's, it's for points. And, I, I yes, I, I would like to stay up in the points if possible. And I had it figured a lot of guys didn't make it. And I was going through my head. And I'm like, all I have to do is finish this hill. And I probably have a top five or top six. If I hit that 13-second bonus line and I don't one-shot it, then I just lost my yeah. time. And it, it doesn't doesn't sure. matter. So, yeah. And, and uh, Fable... Fable was dry. I didn't make that top second hill anyhow. Yeah. So. Uh, but I think it's I think it's important to note that K, that Fable Hill was dry, um, which makes it a lot yeah. easier. Yeah. 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 For sure. I mean, Showstopper loves it. Wet, it don't matter. Yeah. I've done great every time I've been on it. Showstopper. Uh, heck, won the April race last year. I hit that damn water hole down there. And oh my goodness, it took all my power away, sucked my air filter shut, um, and I crawled it. But I mean, I never, never spun a tire. Just once I got back going, I got right back up. Yep. The second round, it, I had all my power back, and, it, and, it, and it, you know, it, it ran great. Showstopper worked on it, and Warfare worked great on it this weekend. Um, yeah, but yes, it was dry. It was not yep. wet. So. Yep. And, and I think that's for the best too, because it's exciting to see y'all on Fable Hill when it's wet. But after five or six buggies and, and that slop gets really bad, it, it's just—I mean, it just takes away from it. It does that big old mud sure. hole, you know, yeah. you know, and, and you know, that, you know, that hill, the exit to Hill One, we ran that in the finals last year. But man, there were so many goalies washed in it this year. Uh, we walked it. From the bottom, walked it from the top. Heck, before the race, Daniel went and stood in one of the holes. You could see from like his nose up, and that was it, you know. And everybody was trying to pick their lines, and you know, Daniel and I talked before the race, and uh, he's like, well, "Where are you going?" I'm like, "I'm, I'm going to the same place I did in Showstopper in the fall race, the finals." There was so much powder in the finals. Everybody was trying to go up the gut, and so much powder, powder in there. And uh, I went far left where nobody had ran the vegetation because the whole hill was open and just went sh headed straight for that tree i basically was steering straight for the tree and then the last second turned right to get out the hill between the timers and, and it worked and i told him hey that's that's where I'm going, uh that's where i'm going this time also and, you know we both even looked at the big hole at the top you had to cross a big hole just uh he knew his buggy had plenty of power to do it you know with the new up add, you know addition to his buggy and I figured Warfare had the power to do it. I just haven't hit a hill like that to know how it's going to react. But I thought, you know, I, I felt that was my – I had to hit it fourth. And, uh, and so I felt like that was my best best shot. So, and it, and believe me, there was plenty of power yeah, left. Good, good. And what is uh, Warfare running for a motor? Is it, It's a small block, right? Yeah, it's like, I think it's a 442 cubic inch or 443 cubic inch. Um, it's like 830 horsepower. Yeah. Okay. But – Big difference from what I'm used to. Lighter buggy, it's like a thousand or twelve hundred pounds lighter than Showstopper. Yep. You know, 250, 280 more horse. Yep. So, so there's a big difference yep. there. It's a big upgrade. Uh, yeah. And like I said, got to get comfortable. Right. Right. You're not running an ISP seat, are you? There is an ISP seat in Modern Warfare. The head, the head side, the head stuff's okay. gone, and I took the arm stuff. Um, I just have the part that goes around my rib okay. cage. Uh, it was just too rough. I mean, the little bit of driving I did, it beat the crap yep. out of me. I'll be honest yep. with you. Yeah. But I strap in things to where I can't hardly breathe. I want to where it's hurting me. When I take off that starting line, I want to know that it's almost hurting yep. me. Because I, every time I take off that starting line, I know I got a good 60% chance of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I like those odds. No, I'm just joking, man. <laughs> but no, I I hear you. It was uh, it was the same deal in the army when you strap it into a parachute. You know, when your life is potentially on the line, uh, a little bit of pain is not a bad thing. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. I do want to give a big shout out to the sponsors before we get too far. And I, I, 
forget yep. about that or we don't absolutely let's do it give it up tank came on board uh in the last season at the finals actually there you know in the live feed with yep i remember that that was uh, that was awesome first rock bouncer that he's ever ever sponsored i appreciate that it's great um scott goforth really hooked me up this year some four divisions for showstopper and uh that was great uh jeremy major custom differentials does a ton of work for me uh he's done work on both buddies uh two board chassis work front and rear end a uh, little bit of everything you know move my seat to make uh which was a pretty big ordeal uh, i had to move a lot of stuff in warfare so i could fit in it comfortably and be able to drive um blue oval mobile wash keeps things clean for me um, Kobe, uh, he commented earlier about the walk clean buggies. And his son Mitchell helps him out a lot, uh, wash and also does a ton of work for me uh, on the buggies. Uh, he pulled the motor out of Modern Warfare. I had to get the motor rebuilt, actually, but you know they pulled it out. We sent it off, and they put it in. Him, Mitchell, Colby, and my son Holden put it in while I was. They were actually putting it in while I was at a race. They were watching me tear up Showstopper <laughs> on the line. Bomb. They're putting the engine in the other bodies. They're like, hey, Dave, we got to hurry up. We got another one. You got to... So yep, back. perfect. <laughs> I, I bet secretly they're saying, damn it, Jay, just, we want to go watch, man. Stop tearing this shit up so we yeah. can come and watch you, man. <laughs> yeah. Mainstream rap on Warfare. Um, they do a lot of stuff for me. D's powder coating in Ferryville. Um, he powder coated all the orange on Showstopper and loose cannon, did some wheel stuff. Uh, so I just want to thank all them guys. The fa my family supports me like crazy. Uh, Cheryl, all my kids. Uh, you know, Ryan works, Ryan that works for me, he's always normally helping me with the buggy whenever he's got time, whatever. So I appreciate it all. I'm a whole pair of a mafia, you know. I, sometimes. We're at one shop or the other helping yep. somebody, you know? Yep. We may go to times there may be five buggies in there, whether they're racers, the bouncers, whatever, you know, and it, it, there's always something going on there. Or, you know, Daniel, we do some little stuff at Daniel's. And he has a couple guys that help him, Ben Duvall and Chris Winchell. I yep. mean, yeah, everybody comes together. Yep. So... Yep, absolutely, man. And, and uh, we were joking about it this past weekend, but... Um, I'm I'm very serious when I say this. If if there is ever a prime time show about rock bouncing, it should be based in Paraville because they would be able to drive within 15 or 20 minutes and be at four or five of the biggest names in rock bouncing. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're all pretty. I mean, we all close. Yep. Uh, you know. Yep. Everybody. Everybody. Close. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> We're within 15 minutes of everybody. Yep. That's awesome. It, it really is. It's it's unlike anything that I've ever experienced in the sport, and it's it's unlike anything I've ever experienced in, in life, really, for that matter. So yep. very, very thankful to have, have been uh, invited to Paraville and come and, and hang out with y'all for sure. Yeah, we're glad to have you yep. guys. Hey, uh, Bub Meadows says, can we expect to see any of the Mafia at King of the Hammers next year? Maybe, maybe we uh we're 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 trying to see what we got to do to get all the rigs out there with everybody having to drive separate. Sure. Yep. Yep. Um, I think if a couple of us get on board, we may get a whole group to go. Okay. Um, I want to experience it one time for sure. Yep. Uh, it's also going to depend on work a little bit. I, I'm I own my own company. I'm my own boss, but. Everybody says, well, it's easy, just take off. It's not that easy. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm grateful to the great group of guys that work for me. Uh, big shout out to them. I'm able to leave and go race. And 99% of the time, it's flawless when I'm gone. Um, of course, nothing's ever the same when you're not there. But they do a hell of a job keeping things going whenever I'm gone. I appreciate it. Well, that's awesome, man. Good, good Big shout out to those guys for sure. And uh, any anything you want to talk about as far as – you know, give us a shameless plug, man. Tell us about your company real quick. Uh, it's Jay's Firewood and Mulch, LLC. We do firewood and mulch, landscaping, a full tree service. 
I actually bought my first truck when I was 13 and started doing wow. this. So, wow. Wow. Uh, my dad did it. Uh, both of my older brothers did it. My whole family pretty much did it. You know, of course, I helped them work with them. Yeah. And, you know, I had 30, 40 year old guys drive for me when I was 13, 14, 15 years old. Good. That's what I'm talking um, about. I, I didn't go school. I quit school, you know. I, it wasn't for me. I went and got my GED and, and did all that stuff to make some people happy, but I just, I was I was ready to yeah. work. Perfect. Hey. So, any things are great. Yeah. Good Lord poured something in I your heart, man. That's... And the crews that I have to be able to do what yep. I do. That's right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Connor's watching with us. Dustin Wynn, what's up, guys? Brooks Myers, ex, uh, cameraman extraordinaire, is watching with us. Chris Sizemore, Joshua Parrish. Joshua, we got to get you on here, man. Well, does anybody uh, watching out there have anything for Jay? We've been going for just about uh, an hour here, Jay, which is on par for the show, uh, like normal. But um, is there anybody else that you want to... Anything else you want to throw out there at us before we say good night? My girl, at least one of my girls, will be racing out while race June twenty seventh at Flat Nasty in Missouri. Okay. Maybe both of them. I don't race loose cannon. Hopefully, it can hold together for both of them. The last out roll race, it didn't hold together for both bills for both of them. But that was their first race and. They weren't scared to hit the skinny belly. That's what I'm talking about. It seems like it's in the water up there in Paraville, man. It's all in your blood. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, watch Matt Schuster drive for a while. Uh, you know you better hold the pedal yeah. down. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pete says, can't wait to meet you. Pete Rittenauer says, can't, make, can't wait to meet you. Um, Austin says, what were you thinking when Daniel flipped down the hill over last weekend? All I was doing was screaming no. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I went over to Strathy buggy. He had already pulled up to the three-stage party line. And I'm like, hey, let me get you, make sure you're tight. He's like, no, if it's new seat, I can strap myself in there. I'm like, I'm, I want to pull on your belts to make sure you're tight, you know. Um, that's my biggest thing whenever, whenever Daniel first got started, you know. I always want to make sure he first got – he when he was tight, you know. He, I, I explained to him, he, it's gotta almost hurt whenever you're when you take yes, off, you know. First couple times, you know, he did. He played over here a little bit. I ain't got much of hills, but hit a couple little things over here, and he wasn't all the way tight. He realized, hey, I gotta get, you know, I gotta be tight in there. Yep. The new seat, he was able to strap himself in there tight. He was good to go, and I, man, I didn't know what to think. I mean, words can't describe what was going through my mind because I really don't even know what was going. Just yep. I talked him into. I don't know what I talked him into getting into this sport. He come to one race. It took us forever to talk him into coming to a race. He's like, man, that stuff's no fun. That looks stupid. You know, there ain't no, no. way. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not gonna wait hours to come watch you race. I just come one time. Yep. So him, Adam, Chris Winchell, uh, their wives, they came down to uh, Wildcat, or no, I'm sorry, Windrock for the first race. That was their first race. So we took him to the top of the hills. And Daniel and Adam Coons is like, well, there ain't no flipping way <laughs> anybody's going to climb these hills. Like, well, I may not climb them, but a lot of people's yeah. going to climb them. And two weeks later, we're searching for Daniel above. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yep. so pretty much hooked. And Adam jumped right in the ball one also, yep. you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it just gets a good time. It, it's a blast. Uh, the Rock Mountain community, the family is great. Uh, big shout out to Bobby Tanner and, and Taylor Pickett for always doing prayer with us, you know, that's great. And Taylor on the starting line, you know, the safety check. Uh, prayer for each driver individually, even after the big prayer at the driver's meeting. Uh, man, if anybody don't want to accept that, get the hell out of yep. this board. That, that's just yep. awesome. Amen. That is great. Yep. Uh, the whole mess there, you know, they're always helping out, you know, Clyde, and, you know, with the RS. Yep. And then you got Joey and, Tim and his crew, you know, for Pro Rock, all them guys, and then the Outlaw crew, you know, with Kevin and Brett and Heath, and, you know, and their wives are always there. And then, oh, now you got crazy ass Shelby in with them. So, uh, but yeah, all them guys are great. They're there to help you. 
guide you in any way. You got any questions? You can text them, call them, whatever, and, and they're, they're they're right there to give you an answer. Yep. Uh, let's see. Connor says, Perryville Mafia, yes, sir. Joshua Perry says, I've never unloaded my buggy from three weeks ago at the Renegade race. Uh, I've been swamped. Yeah, I, I hear that, Joshua. Uh, Anthony Yon, put one in Showstopper. Let's see. I can't remember what we were talking about. Um, put a rear motor. Oh. He's crazy. <laughs> uh, Bebo says. We're going to leave. We're going to leave. The only change may come to Showstopper down the road. It may end up a two-seater. Interesting. Yeah. They're pretty tight. They're like two turkey seats, but there's, there's sure. room. Yeah. It may end up a two-seater. I don't know that for a fact, but that's a possibility. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Zach Kilgore watching with us. Bebo says, uh, just want to say thanks, Jay, for always having input for me uh, when I get to the race. Awesome race family we have. Amen. Amen, Bebo. Uh, Daniel says their, uh, their pray, prayer saved me that day. 100%. Amen. Amen, Daniel. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to hear from Daniel, uh, here, you know, you know, let him get comfortable and, uh, and, uh, kind of situated with life, you know, uh, with the broken arm and stuff, but we're going to hear from Daniel soon. Anthony Yant, uh, not let one of your girls drive showstopper at F flat nasty. Let one of your girls drive. No, they're not gonna run. Uh, they got to get used to loose cannon, get a little seat time, a little drive time in them yep. first um, before I put them in a buggy. Yep, cool. You know, Kelsey just, Kelsey's 17. She just, you know, she only drive for a year. Jaden's 13, but she's great. She's crazy as hell. 14, sorry. She's crazy as hell. She, yep. She just wants to hold it to the floor and go, but <laughs> sometimes that's a little. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. She's not scared of it. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't know that we're hoping Smoked Out's ready for the 27th, but if not, somebody will be racing something for, oh, for Daniel. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe one of these back here just to make sure he's got yep. good. Yep, that's right. Because he's doing well, doing well in Outlaw, so we need to try to keep him up there in points, too. Yep, so. that's right. Amen. Well, good deal, Jay. Hey, listen, this has been great, man. I, I really appreciate you doing this for me. Uh, this helps me out. I know it's just been crazy, and it just worked this week for days. Yep. So. Uh, let's see. Bebo says, my very first race ever, Bobby Tanner put his arm around me in my buggy and said, like a 10-minute prayer. Uh, I'll never forget that. Prayer is good. Amen, Bebo. Yep. Yep. That's yes, right. Sir. We need it. Need more of it. Matthew Patterson watching with us. But, uh, no, Jay, don't don't worry about that stuff, man. You you are more than welcome to come on here anytime, especially with, you know, uh, podium finishes or when that new buggy's done, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're, you're more than welcome to come on here. Um, it, it helps me out because it gives my channel, gives my little show here some content. Uh, there are people that are watching all across the country, the world even, um, that know Jay Stortz, they know Stortz Racing, and they want to hear from you guys. You know, they want to hear from you drivers. So uh, it helps them out a lot. So, um, you know, I, I, I hope that uh, we didn't take too much of your time. We appreciate the sacrifice today. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, definitely going to looking forward to seeing you back on the hills, man. Heck yeah, we can't wait. All right, brother. I will uh, let you get on with your night. I appreciate it again. We'll talk to you very soon, okay? All right. Thanks, All everybody. All right. See you, man. All right, guys. Well, that was a good one, huh? Man, Paraville Mafia. We've had uh, two straight days of Paraville Mafia. We had Shane Christensen on uh, last night. Got to hear about his top five finish. Um you know, and, and then uh, we hear from Jay Stortz tonight. And, and as you can see, I mean, the guy's just, you know, he, he has jumped in head first and his drive shows, uh, you know, there's there's no doubt that that uh, Jay deserves to be standing on that podium when he gets up there for sure. So it'll happen. It'll happen. Colby, amen. Podium is coming. Amen. That's right. That's right. 
uh, Jesse, yes, sir. Another great show. I, I agree. And, and, uh, I tell you, it's, you know, uh, the guys like Jay, um, these drivers that, that, I, I mean, I'm nobody, man, you know, and the fact that they take an hour, sometimes a couple of hours out of their day to come on here and, and shoot the breeze with me. Um, you know, I, I'm so thankful for that. And then the same deal with all y'all watching, we had upwards of 50 some odd people watching, man, you know, that's, that's uh, 50 people that are taking an hour out of their night, you know, to uh, to come over and listen to me yammering on. So uh, I'm very thankful, very thankful for that, guys. Um, listen, tomorrow uh, uh, we don't have a guest scheduled, but uh, we do have some of the Bikini Bottoms footage that's starting to come out. Um, so if you did miss uh, any of the live feed or if you haven't seen the full race from Bikini Bottoms, let's plan on doing that tomorrow. Um, high octane films charles huge sponsor of the show uh always giving us content to watch selflessly uh i, I like to say that he's he's not concerned uh, he's just a fan of the sport uh, i think he said it earlier today just a guy who loves horsepower and, and climbing hills and so uh very thankful for all of our media sponsors speaking of uh, media sponsors black dog photography and dbat dpats photography they're uh, the first ever rock bouncer f photographer shootout uh, we wrapped that up last night the win going to uh, black dog photography some of the all the pictures uh are up on my facebook page you can go down and check those out and uh, check out the episode yesterday with uh the guys from nitty gritty Shane Christensen and then the uh, we did the rock bouncer photographer shootout at the end so uh, you can kind of see the uh, the photographs that they that they put together it's pretty cool man I, I gotta say I, I don't know of any other anything like that going on in media right now where you know we're pitting photographers against each other you know I think that's I think that's super cool and I, I think y'all should join in man we got some uh, amateur photographers out there I know and uh, you know when these guys you know we'll we'll announce the uh, what the categories are going to be and then uh, play along y'all if you're going to some of these races you know play along and share them with us we, we want to see for sure um, Bebo all our media rocks that's right absolutely Corey Berman thank you for joining sir well, listen, uh, I'm going to let everybody go for the night. I appreciate all of y'all so much. Cooper, Paraville Mafia, absolutely. We're going to keep putting them in front of everybody so the world knows. Um, and uh, let's let's talk more about that state versus state rock bouncer race, man, because we could do that for freaking one-to-one -one UTVs, RCs. Man, we could have a whole event. The, the where Where would we have it, though? Where would we have it? Where would we have it? Put that in the comments. Let me know what you think. Man, I love y'all. I uh, can't wait to be back on the hill. Can't wait to see y'all soon. We'll talk to you uh, tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. Night, y'all.